Uh, this word system, as in seeing systems or systems thinking, is a tricky word. Uh, because regardless of what you or I may mean when we speak it, it's often heard in a very different way. Like, well, look, at we're all part of this big school system. Now, when people say that, what are they referring to? Well, the administration, the bureaucracy, the rules, the regulations. It doesn't really uplift or inspire people. And it doesn't really get them grounded either. So we always say, start with family. In many ways, the family is the archetypal system that as human beings, we all grow up in. A family is a web of interconnectedness that actually has consequences. And particularly, oftentimes, not necessarily the consequences that we really want. And there's a lot of love and joy in families, but there's also a lot of suffering. And think of all the problems that we all have to work our way through in our families that really arise because of interactions of people that produce consequences that actually nobody wants. That's probably the simplest way to talk about why all this seeing systems is really important. How do we find ourselves in situations where we have these interacting uh, dynamics, these forces that produce consequences that no one wants, and what can we do about it? So systems thinking for me is the study of how a very complex organization works. So all of the different parts and pieces of the organization, the various policies and rules that are in place. And to me, I also think of systems thinking as encompassing a lot of the emergent behaviors, sometimes the unanticipated consequences that come about uh, when you have an organization that's complex and with lots of interrelated parts. Um, it's sometimes hard to figure out if you um, pull on this thread, what happens sort of on the other end of the big ball of yarn. And so I think of systems thinking as actually a, a really good approach to looking at why change is difficult in complex organizations and how we can make it better. So when we talk about understanding systems, we're really kind of orienting us to what are the most difficult, intransigent, and, um, and vexing problems that we faced. But there's also another part. If we can start to understand where they come from systemically, we can start to get some insight into how we and others are actually creating these problems. And that opens the door to what we can do about them. I think systems thinking is also very useful in helping educators solve problems, especially if you're new to a very complex organization. Um, sometimes it's, it's actually a very good discipline to sit down and try to look at who are all of, what are all the different moving parts in this organization? And where do I have influence? And um, you know, where am I being acted upon? And sort of have a perspective of your place within an organization and how you can best affect change. And I think that that can be taught, it can be learned, and it can be studied. And I think that's why understanding systems thinking is so important for every faculty member at a school. I think students and faculty often see the systems of a school differently simply because of their perspective and also their, their time frame. Faculty often take the long view because they're there for a long time and for many students, especially for many of our seniors who are taking on projects that require them to interact with lots of different departments, they really only have about a year or less to make things happen. And so often students are impatient with the pace of change. They're often impatient with the need to check in and talk with lots of different people and see all the moving parts. But at the same time, faculty sometimes I think are too complacent with letting change happen slowly. You know, if it doesn't happen this year, it'll happen next year. And if not next year, then the following year. And then change never happens. So I'm actually really excited about finding ways to bring faculty and students together in the service of positive change for the school. Because I think each group has a lot to learn from the other.